well it's almost free but i will explain that later in the video so make sure to stick till the end today i'm gonna show you exactly the steps that you need to make so you can sell your digital art as nft and make money as a creator artist or whatever you call yourself hello Kitty girls welcome back it's tang and michael as usual and first let's have a look into how often are the nft being traded right now we'll go to openc.io slash activity look at that nft art and collectibles are being traded sold every single minute there has never been better opportunity for digital artists like us to earn money from doing what we truly love all right here are the three things we're gonna need to start earning money okay first thing is obviously an art something that we're gonna sell and make an nft from so typically that would be an image or a video or an animation a 3d model everything that you can create and you know produce with your creative brain and skills an example would be this animation of 3d CryptoPunk that i showed you how to make in the previous video the second thing we need is a digital wallet where we're gonna store all the earnings from selling our nfts and the last third thing that we need is an auction site yes the place where we're gonna list our nfts and just you know wait until someone buys it so that's all <laughs> let's elaborate on art creation typically you would use photoshop for digital paintings but there are also sites like emoji.ink where you can use emojis as a brush to paint anything that you you know just imagine and believe me or not such paintings with those emojis from emoji.ink are also being sold for quite a lot of money the old school guys would go for photoshop but you can also use you know free software like krita that i can also recommend uh, it's also a great tool for digital paintings and it's free for animations i recommend using after effects it's a powerful tool where you can create a lot of things both in 2d and 3d space so yeah it's one of those staple softwares so yeah you can't really go with better when it comes to 3d art and modeling i use blender as some of you my dear friends know but if you are new here on this channel i am really happy to see you here welcome you are definitely a creative hero as well so you know just let's shake you know our hands and uh, i'm tongue and you are yes great name <laughs> even though i couldn't really hear it but anyway welcome so blender blender is a free open source software for creating 3d models it's so powerful and you know just really useful uh, for creating you know 3d models that i i just can't you know see and recommend any better of course there are good competitors but they are paid so go with blender for 3d it's easy and it's free but honestly i will leave this art creation part up to you because you are the hero you know your tools the best so just use anything that you love my friend <laughs> yes if you love coca-cola just create nft art with coca-cola no one will care and you actually might be very very unique in that field right just spraying the coca-cola all over your apartment and just you know take a snapshot of it and voila you have an art <laughs> okay now the wallet but before i will show you how to get one me and michael we're baking today actually and this is the result let me show you yes it is what it is doesn't it look awesome well 
Alright, let's get back to the wallet. The easiest way to get it is going to site metamask.io. Go straight to the download page and install the metamask extension to your browser. This window will open and let's get started. Then pick create a wallet on the right. Of course we're gonna agree with the terms. We don't really have other options, right? Then fill in your secret password and press create. This secret backup phrase is really important because it will help you restoring the account in case of forgetting the password for example. You can see that it is a list of random words. When we press next, we have to confirm the backup phrase by picking the words from the list down below here in the exact order. And voila, it's done. This is how the wallet looks in the full screen. But usually you would use it as an extension here in the upper right corner. And so this is how you get a wallet on metamask.io. The site where we will be selling our NFT art is gonna be OpenSea. Why it is OpenSea and not other sites like Rarible, Foundation or Super Rare is because selling on OpenSea is free. Yes. Now you might have noticed that I like free stuff and you know, nothing is better than free food and free sites where you can sell NFTs. Nothing's better than that, right? The reason I'm repeating free in collaboration with OpenSea is because it is really true. They do something that is called lazy minting, which means that our art will become the actual NFT only when it gets sold. While on sites like Radable or Foundation, the NFT is required to be created right when you upload it, which means that you have to pay the money upfront, right? So the, yes, the risk here is obvious. You will spend so much money just to create the NFT. But the question is, will it be actually sold to someone, right? So that's why on OpenSea, you can upload as many pieces of art as possible without paying anything. And that's why it's called by themselves and also by me that it's free. <laughs> yes. All right, let's go and list our art piece on OpenSea. All right, let's go to OpenSea and choose the MetaMask as a wallet. Then confirm everything. And voila, the wallet is connected to OpenSea. Let's click on create. And then choose create collection. Start by uploading its logo. Then fill its name and description. And then just press create. Now we're gonna start adding the items that we will actually sell. Let's add new item. As you can see, there is plenty of formats that you can upload, but we will stick with that 3D crypto punk. We also need to upload its preview image. Fill its name, of course. The interesting part of NFTs are the metadata. You can add various types here on OpenSea, but let's see how, for example, the progress bar looks like. You can also add an information that only the owner will see. Finish it by pressing create. Let's see our newly added NFT. Yes, the step that you were waiting for the whole time. Let's sell it. We have two basic way of selling it, either for a fixed price or an auction. Let's give it a price of 1 Ether and post the listing. Because we are doing this for the very first time on OpenSea, we need to initialize our wallet first. At the very beginning of this video, I mentioned that selling NFT on OpenSea is almost free. If you remember that, and hopefully you do, because of course you watched this video from the very beginning, right? The reason it's almost free is because when we're gonna list 
our art on OpenSea for sale, you know, for the very, very first time, our MetaMask wallet needs to be initialized for the blockchain level, so they called it, and that is costing us a gas fee that everyone has to pay when they want something to be stored on blockchain. Right now, at the time of recording this video, it's around $40, so that's, it's not that much money, but it's still some, right, for some people. A good note here is that OpenSea doesn't charge you any money for that initialization of your wallet to blockchain level, right? So you actually really pay for the transaction and that needs to be done only once in a lifetime on OpenSea. So, yes, all the future listings of our art that will, of course, generate and earn us a lot of money will be completely, yes, the special and nicest word in the world, free. Yeah, it's going to be free. After that initialization of your wallet, you can freely just post your listing and this is how the real auction of your art looks like. Well done, my friend. You just made the very first steps towards making and earning the money from doing what you love and what you are passionate about. Isn't that awesome? You know, this is the best era ever. Just the best one. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching. I'm always so excited when I can share, you know, this passion for art and, you know, just creation with someone, you know, as cool as you, because, you know, you are just, of course, very cool, you know, a creative hero when you are watching these videos and, you know, just trying to learn everything about how you can improve your skills. And uh, now we can call ourselves how? Yes, the Creative Hero friends. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I would really appreciate that. It would, of course, help the channel and, you know, bring you a lot of karma. So of course, of course. And uh, uh, so, <laughs> yeah, see you soon in the next video. But before that, let's say tongue and Michael are <laughs> Yes. It is a muffin, and if you didn't recognize it, then your imagination, my friend, is so poor. Or mine is, mine is exceptionally bad.